This program contains coarse language, mature themes, and the strong opinions of Dan Savage. Viewer discretion is advised. What I would do in your shoes is find other people who've been in your shoes and are 10 years down the road and their families and stick their family on your family. That's very powerful, particularly for first-generation immigrant communities. I have a friend who's uh, Chinese and his parents are uh, still Chinese speakers, speak no English. He grew up in America, he's gay, and it was insanely hard when he came out because they just lost their minds. Um, and what helped break them break them, that's what you gotta do, just like you gotta break your dad. What broke them was sitting down with other Chinese American immigrant parents whose kids had come out. And you need to find people who your parents see themselves in who have children like you and sick them on each other. Um, I had a friend who uh, came out and it was a disaster and he was 15 years old. Um, and he wasn't really a friend. Actually, I gave terrible advice. This kid called my radio show and described his situation and asked me if he should come out to his parents. And I said, oh, yeah, they already know. Just tell them. Uh, they're just waiting for you to say something. And he came out, and it was a disaster. And he called me the next week and said, you ruined my life. Um, <laughs> and it was really, it was really bad. Uh, and so I took him off the air, and I got his mother's phone number. And I had my mother call his mother. Um, and, that, and they became really good lifelong friends. And what she said was she got uh, my friend's mom on the phone uh, and said, if what you want is for your 15-year-old gay son to run away from home, to engage in survival prostitution, to get HIV and be dead by the time he's 20, keep it up. You're doing everything right, if that's what you want. And the conversation went from there, right? <laughs> and then they became really good friends, and we're still friends. Uh, my husband and I with this kid's parents, who's now 30, and he's a really good friend of ours to this day, uh, you have to find my mother and sick my mother on your mother. But it would really help if the, the mom you find uh, is an Egyptian and a Christian or whatever your parents uh, are right now. And that helps, that helps. PFLAG is amazing. PFLAG helps so many parents move past it. And if you, get, if you call PFLAG, you will go off into a network of uh, contacts between organizations and parents and email trees, they will find the Egyptian conservative parents of lesbians for you. They, will f they know where they are, <laughs> right? And they will find one for you and they'll put them in touch with your family. But you gotta parent your parents, you gotta be tough, you gotta be strong. What made love exciting? What made dating exciting at the outset? 